snow is piling up on the sides of the roads and the city of Des Moines has a plan on what to do with it. But the continuous cold weather is playing a factor in it. Local 5's like in McGee has this story. The city of Des Moines was supposed to start hauling off all of the snow outside starting this Sunday night, but because of the below zero temperatures, they're going to wait a little bit and start prepping all of their machines. You see here behind me to make sure they're ready. The city is dealing with large amounts of snow and extended colder temperatures. And it's just sitting there accumulating and every time it snows, we push more to the side and we just run out of room and places to put the snow. So city workers are repairing the plows and dump trucks to haul off inches and inches of snow. Hauling snow out of downtown is a rare occurrence. This would be the third time in 10 years that it's needed to be done. And good thing they don't have to do it every year because it costs a couple $100,000 to haul it off. During the last week of January, the metro received over 10 inches of snow costing the city a total of $335,927 in plowing it. But the snow itself can become an obstacle, from blocking parking meters to not being able to see around them while pulling out of parking lots. And it can be from little piles like this one to a big pile like this, making it hard to see around. So here's what you can expect. They will do the west side of the river first and east side of the river next. But the weather is playing a factor. Those who are in the dump trucks are in heated cabs, but there's an extensive number of laborers on the ground, on the sidewalk. Uh, we don't want to have them breathing that cold air for that long. Now they have rescheduled hauling off all the snow until Sunday the 21st, and they believe it's going to take at least 24 hours to do so. I'm Lake and McGee for Local 5 News. We are Iowa. And they will be hauling it off to what used to be the Metro Compost Center that's just off of Southeast 14th Street. This is open to the public to dump their own snow. And we asked the question, is salt or brine worse for your vehicle? In doing so, Public Works told us what they put in their mixture to treat the roads. Use salt to make brine, so they're the same thing. We add other things into, uh, into our brine mixture for pre-treating roads like the beet juice, but the principal ingredient is just table salt. So salt is just as damaging to your vehicle as brine. Public Works says if you don't have to be out on the roads when they're covered, just stay home.